What's up YouTube, it's your boy Stans here and welcome back to a brand new Pixelmon Generations video here on the channel and we are continuing off where we left off last video. If you guys have no idea, we did the Meloetta uh, spawning mechanic for that. Uh, and we got Meloetta and we decided to get Meloetta because it's gonna allow us to get the legendary Pokemon that we're gonna get today. Of course, you guys clicked on this video already. You know what's happening. Landorus, Thunderous, and, uh, Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus. That's what it was. Yeah, Tornadus. The only flying solo type. I mean, they, that changed in Generation 8. But yeah. Okay, cool. Completely forgot about the third one there. But, uh, we are, of course, gonna spawn them in uh, today so we can take a look at how the function works to spawn in uh these guys uh we are in the abundant garden so this is going to be the shrine that we need to spawn in the forces of nature but of course it's not the only thing that we need we also need the meloetta meloetta is going to need to be in our party uh and then we also need a certain item now the item that you are going to need is the reveal glass a very very familiar item when it comes to the forces uh, forces of nature trio because it allows them to switch forms to their theory and form um, I do have the crafting recipe for it though. So we need five flying gems. It makes sense, right? We need a mirror. We need two crystals and we need a lava crystal. Now, uh, some of the stuff is very easy to come by the flying gems, the crystals kind of easy to come by. Personally, I do not know where the lava crystal comes from. I would assume of course near lava. Uh, and then I do not know where the mirror comes from. It could potentially also be loot, uh, drops from not only loot boxes and structures, but it could be from a uh, boss slash totem Pokemon structures. Um, or drops, I'm sorry. But sometimes, you know, if you look at some of these shrines, they tend to have some sort of a chest kind of around them, maybe. Uh, and no, it's not uh, necessarily 100% given, um, but it is a possibility for these structures to have loot boxes available in them. And if you get them, you can potentially have some of the items necessary. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a, you know, FYI and how that works out. You can actually... Sh uh, craft the reveal glass uh, and then once we have the reveal glass we should be able to spawn these guys in however it does require you for you guys to have a special weather condition and what's funny is in when it comes to like shaders it's not gonna look good i promise you guys that it's not gonna look good but we need to set the weather to uh what is it toggle downfall no no it's, it has to be a thunderstorm it has to be a thunderstorm so weather uh set thunder once the thunderstorm comes in, we should be able to spawn in these guys. Now, this is cool because this Meloetta kind of works similar to Mew. How you can clone Mew three times to potentially get a Mewtwo. This time, Meloetta to spawn in these uh, Forces of Nature trio, you can only do it three times. So, once you've used up the three times, that's it for the Meloetta. Don't expect anything else. The Lightning, I know, is uh, kind of or overbearing. Uh, so, let's just get straight into it. So, you're going to go to the Shrine. You have Meloetta in your party. You should be able to right-click it, and it should be able to spawn in the forces of nature. I don't know who I'm going to get this time around. Uh, I got Tornadus, the one that I forgot. <laughs> we, of course, have our Master Ball, so we're going to go ahead and uh, catch our legendary Pokemon. Should be an easy catch, the first of the tree. Um, now I want to see if there is anything to it. I, I, I want to see if, uh, honestly, that's pretty cool that there's an achievement for that or an advancement. Uh, I want to see how the RNG works. Let's see if we get two Tornadises in a row, or if we get uh, maybe a Landorus and then a Tornadus. I'm not entirely too sure. So, Reveal Glass. Let's go in here one more time. Let's see what we get. Thunderous. Mm, are we going to get all three of them? This would be pretty cool if we get all three of them. That's all I'm saying. And, of course, you guys know uh, from previous videos, I've kind of mentioned it before. I believe once you run away or you defeat the Pokemon, well, obviously, if you defeat the Pokemon, that's it. But if you run away, the Pokemon despawns, so nobody else really has a chance of getting it either. Uh, and then the final reveal glass. Let's see if you give me the trifecta today or if it's all RNG base. Let's see. I'm not, I, I don't know what to expect here. Give me Lander, so it'd be pretty cool. No, it gave me a Tornado, so it is our all RNG base. Um, what you get is kind of random. That's completely okay. Now, we've used three reveal glasses. I'm going to try to use a fourth one to see if it lets me. Um, but like I mentioned before, Meloetta has like a three use only type of thing. So it shouldn't let me use another one. So let's go into creative, grab ourselves a reveal glass, and uh, let's try to go for it. So click it again. Ah, see, it's not letting me now. It's not letting me now. So yeah, Meloetta does have a three use uh, on it, which is honestly pretty cool. It makes things so... It makes things kind of balanced uh, if you have one on a public server and things like that. 
Uh, I think this is pretty cool. But it is a cool way to get the forces of nature. And then, of course, you can go ahead and throw out your Tornadus, right? No, let's throw out Thunderous, right? It makes sense because of this weather. So we have Thunderous out here. And let's go use this Rubio Gladys. And now it's Therian form. Perfect, right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload. We are trying to upload these tutorials probably three times a week. I'm not necessarily a fan of three times a week. Maybe two times. We don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Consider uh, following me over on Twitter and Instagram. I post content over there as well. And, of course, Twitch if you guys like Pokemon content. With all that good stuff out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Peace.